everyone today is the big lawn day I guess um, lawn renovation um, so it's time to time to get this thing looking better um, so we're going to scalp it um, it's Sir Walter um, Buffalo you don't want to go too low with that stuff um, so probably around the 10 I don't know 15 mil mark um, and then we'll so scalp coir rate um, fertilize and soil amendments amendments and then top dress um, and then of course water um, so yeah enjoy the video sit back relax and watch us work too low um, because look it's buffalo and there's quite a big difference between this setting and the lower setting on the mower um, so now it's come to core air rate um, we've got two hand two hand cores shout out to Dan for lending us the other one um, so it's gonna take a little while but let's do it and then fertilize soil amendments and top dress so keep on keeping on Well, now the core aeration is done. Um, basically, the benefit of core aerating basically allows, obviously, the water, um, nutrients, and oxygen and, um, to get down into the root system and obviously allow the roots to breathe, um, open it up a bit. Um, yeah, 
this has never been aerated before, so it's going to be really good for it because um, it's been really compacted. It's had years and years of walking on and trampling on. Um, so let these, we'll mow them up um, and then we'll put down some soil amendments, some soil wetter, some gypsum, um, and then we'll put our fertilizer down. Um, I like to put the fertilizer down before um, we top dress. Um, it's just what I do. And then I'll put my pre-emergent down, because I haven't put that down yet. Um, naughty boy. I'll put that down after I top dress, um, so, it, so it stops any weeds germinating from the top, top dress. Um, so yeah, let's mold up now. Hope you're enjoying the vid. Let's continue on. Basically, they use this herdy gurdy here um, to mow up the cores, um, just because I don't want to damage the blades on the other mower. Um, this mower is a little bit older, so it will be fine. So let's mow this up. See if it starts first pull away. Josiah's just pushing a few few last ones up. It's quite, there's still a few um, in here because it's really uneven and unlevel. Like some parts have scalped, scalped more than others um, because of its undulations. So we'll get some soil wetter down now. I'm not too sure if you put it before you top dress or after you top dress, I'm going to do it before, and then put down some gypsum clay breaker, and then fertilizer, and then top dress, and then lots of water. So, let's put the soil wetter down. Let's go. So basically, be using this nature's soil wetter here. This just improves hydrophobic soils and helps retain moisture in the soil, and um, you know, helps water penetrate into the soil. Um, I'll probably do another video on it later on, so let's get this down now. So, now I'm gonna put down this gypsum clay breaker um, granular stuff from Plant Doctor. Plant Doctor, Plant Doctor. Um, yeah, if you, if you want to get some yourself, don't forget to use the code DLC10 for any products. So basically, this is going to help break down the, um, the clay. Um, it's got lots of other things in there. I'll probably do another video on it in the future. So right now, um, the application rates are 5 to 10 kilos per 100 square meters. Um, I'll probably do 7 kilos per 100 square meters. We've got 54 square meters, so we'll do 3.5 kilos. Um, so let's get this down. So. I'm going away for myself here. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So let's measure out. in the dust. Um, I'll put the link in the description again for the spreader and then for all the products or for the plant doctor stuff. Um, so. So 
gypsum down, soil water down. I'll put the fertilizer down after we have lunch. Gonna have a barbecue, mate. Get some snags in there, ah. Mate, um, so I put the fertilizer down after just because I don't want the fertilizer sitting on the lawn too long without watering it in because you could burn it. Um, probably be all right, but I don't want to take the risk. So let's time, have a bit of lunch, eh? I'm using two spec Elevate um, 23110 uh, mix ratio, whatever you call it. Um, I could have got Accelerate, but this one I can use all year round. It's like a slow release fertilizer, and it will do the job. Um, it will be fine. Synthetic fertilizer, so it's not organic. Um, so I've measured all that, done all the calculations. Need 810 grams uh, for my 54 square meters here. So bear with me as I do the calculation and I'll tell you what it is in 100 square meters. About 1.62 kilos per 100 square meters. That just, yeah, about that. But I'm gonna put it down before I top dress because that's what I've done out the front before. Um, so, yeah, see how it goes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Top dress down.
over time I'll do more, it'll get level and level, more and more level as time goes on and the more renos you do. Um, but for the first one I think we've done pretty good because it was, it was in really bad shape. Um, it was all over the place. So we will put down the pre-emergent now. Um, I should have put it down weeks ago but I didn't um, and well let's get it down now. So let's do that. Alright, so this is it, Anderson's um, Oxa Pro. This stuff will stop the germination of crow's foot, summer grass. Um, not sure if it does broadleaf weeds, but I'll keep my eyes peeled for any. Um, this top dress mix is nutgrass free, so sedge um, weed free. I'm not sure if it's broadleaf weed free though. It should be, um, but you know, there might be the odd weed or two, which is fine. So. We put it down at the rate at three to four kilos per hundred square meters. Um, so it's about two kilos for me. So I'm gonna put this down now. It's not the ideal time to put it down because we're in Queensland. Should have had it down weeks ago. Okay, it's standing knife fine. Stand up just to make it safer, you know. So that will form a barrier in the soil and stop any germination of weeds for up to six months. So the next time I'll apply this will be around March or April, I think, to stop um, the winter grass. So you do it at the beginning of each season, so to stop the winter grass or the summer grass. Um, so yep, yeah, let's get this down now. I got this stuff from Lawn Tips website in case you're wondering. And you want to be careful with this stuff, not to get it in um, your drain or places like that. Um, yeah, there's lots of there's lots of other pre-emergents on the market. There's embargo. I was going to get embargo, but it's out of stock. Barricade. Um, I don't think the root system is quite um, strong enough. I don't think this grass is strong enough yet just to handle barricade. Um, 
Plus it's quite expensive too. So this stuff isn't safe for Santa Ana Cooch. Um, but it is safe for Buffalo, which is good. So, let's put this down now. Let's put the sprinklers on. And then have some soft drink, patience tips. Don't worry, don't worry. It's all, all, all good. Yep, you're going on the head. Get in the head view. That's it. Yeah, got got no hat on, you know. Might need to get my own hat. Daniel's lawn care hat, you know. That that that'd be a good idea. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. As you're on my head right now. Hopefully, it's a good view up there. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, about a bit. Whoa. All right. Okay. Hopefully, the beats are going. No, we we're, we're doing this properly. Summer grass is not coming in this year. Definitely not coming in this year. Hundred. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. How you going? Woo! <laughs> just stopped that. Oh really? <laughs> Alright guys, so I do hope that you're all having a very lovely day. That's how much we got in there, yes. That's how much we got in there. Alright, so we just gotta go over it again. Alright, let's let's finish it. Let's finish it guys. Smash the like button, smash it. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe. Smash them all. Smash them. I want you to smash it, alright? I want you to smash it. Like, actually smash it, okay? Like, please, like, break the button. Can do that. Man, there's still a lot of going down. I mean, I guess, I guess it's got to form a barrier. Yeah. Be environmentally friendly here. Alright, guys. Uh, okay, how you going? How you going? Let us know down in the comments down below how you going. If you're into your lawn care, how's your lawn going? And what pre-emergent do you use, you know? Oh my goodness, I've got to go over it again. How much is that? A bit, yeah. Nah, not that much, just a couple grams. Alright guys, so... Yeah, we're not going to have any winter grass. Sorry, winter grass, not this year. Not yeah, this year, hope guys. hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Besides editing that one. Yeah, yeah mate, this is his job. Okay, so... We are done. Well, it's got to water it in, and then we got to watch the grass grow, and then have our child-friendly patience tins. Um, so, yes, I look forward to seeing this recover and get a lot nicer. Um, yes, yeah, thank you so so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, helps the channel grow, helps the channel get bigger, motivates me more to do more videos for you. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, do a couple of comments, um, click the little notification bell, what is there? Just enjoy it. Get out in the lawn, have fun, do your own reno, just enjoy it. Um, yeah, I shall see you all next time. And yeah, you guys do me a favor, keep safe, have a good one, and bye-bye. For me, for now, and I'll see you Saturday, next week's vid. Bye bye. Bonus, bonus clip. Do a kaboom for the peaks. Do a kaboom. Bye for now. Wait, one more front daddy. True, thank you for watching.
Bye-bye.